okay, so um, apparently um, what we're doing is we're, we are Project X, um, and Project X is essentially a small production group that exists inside of a school. And uh, the reason I started this up is because I realized um, working out in the industry is that we would get a lot of students that were applying for jobs, you know, as animators and modelers and all these kinds of technical positions, but they didn't know exactly what to do because they weren't, uh, they didn't have any industry experience. Anyways, um, so this is, every film starts with a script. Our first film is called The Offering, which is already done. Um, and uh, basically this is something I wrote up and I wanted it to be uh, more or less not like the cutesy thing that you'd see at Pixar. It's going to be something that is East meets West, Indian influence meets Western technology. Uh, so these are storyboards. We had uh, a number of storyboard artists that created the, the look and the feel and the timing of the, uh, the different shots. You need storyboards in order basically to create uh, a short film that kind of uh, couples with the script. Um, so this is, uh, this is how we manage our production. And so we use Google Groups, and essentially where you see everything that's green here means that it's already done. If it's yellow, it's in progress. If it's red, then you're dead. That means that basically you're, it's, not, it's not started yet. So this is a way of managing some 25 students all at once to create an animated film. This here is uh, basically a spreadsheet or, or a spread of our, our production and how the director works with the production manager and the production manager works with the leads. And these little dots, they're the little people that do all the work, right? <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, yeah, I, I know. Uh, so here, here's a graph. We're going to get to the good stuff soon here, but you know, this is my part, is like all the graphic stuff. So this is like CPU, CPU usage and what the CPUs were doing on what. So this, is, this really mimics uh, the production cycle of Toy Story or the equivalent of Toy Story, except in a short film, a short animated film. So we're, we're taking a, a production pipeline and applying it to, uh, you know, a school. So we're doing a real film here. Um, it all, you know, everything has to be done with concept art. You need really beautiful concept art in order to drive the, the emotive imagery. And so we were really lucky we got a, a guy named Brandon Russell, who was a student at at the time. Now he's making video games down in, in Australia. And uh, the guy just banged it out. He did amazing stuff. This is actually part kind of uh, something that we uh, came up with, which is some influence of the Angkor Wat temple, uh, and we use that in our production. You'll see all this in the film, as a matter of fact. Um, so Rob Moore is going to take it over from here. He was our lead animator on the project. Hi, guys. So um, the trick to concept art is not only designing what everything looks like, which helps everyone else uh, farther along the path, but it also has to sort of evoke the mood that we want to portray in the film. So this is inside the temple, and not only does it have the architecture down and what the viewer's going to see, but it really captures kind of the mood of sort of a lonely, cool area. And then we went through multiple versions of our main character. We have some magic in the film, so we went through uh, two color studies and then sort of uh, ideas about what happens kind of later, later on um, during the film. Now, once all the concept art is approved, um, then it all gets built in 3D. So, on the right here, we have sort of uh, one of the earlier versions. Everything about a short film is iteration, multiple versions. And this wasn't really working. Um, it was awkward, and the hair would be really tough to animate. So we streamlined everything, made the girl a little prettier, and um, that ended up being our final model. Now, as an animator, uh, I think a big misconception is that animators end up animating the bones inside characters, not the characters themselves. So this is uh, the rig, built by a rigger, and all the little color parts orbiting the character are what we animators grab and manipulate. So we had a dance choreographer who did our dance sequence. We have three dances in here, and this is a side-by-side -side of her. We filmed her at school in front of the blue screen, and this is sort of what we ended up uh, capturing in 3D. She's got six arms, so the trick is making the main arm, dominant arm, read, and having the others accentuate it. This is a work in progress shot. We've got a woman coming down the stairs. It's kind of a tricky thing to do, and this first version, you can see it's a little rough. She's sort of floaty and wobbly, and her arms get kind of weird. But after a lot of refinement, it eventually gets polished and finished and goes to render where it's made really pretty, and um, you have nice effects, and um, this is one of our shots, this is the final version. Play it again. Um, and 
Through this we're able to get all sorts of nice effects like smoke and things like that and just make the lighting really rich and, and capture what, what we want. Now, a big part of this is simulation. We have some magical effects, but we also have just simple clothing. So this was an early uh, rig to test how her skirt will flow while she's walking. The system works pretty well, but it had some flaws, and again, we just had to keep iterating and iterating until we finally settled on the cloth dynamics, which was kind of the easiest thing to do. All right, so here we have rendering and lighting, which is, is one of my specialties. Uh, and on the right, you have, you have a specific pass here that's generated by the computer. They're all generated by the computers. The middle pass here is also another layer. And then the, the pass to the, the, to the left here is all of these different passes combined. Um, as you can imagine, creating a, an animated film, even a short one, uh, is incredibly uh, complex. So this is really a graph of how all of these different layers are, are combined together. So you can imagine the students have to learn this stuff. We have to teach this stuff to them in order, in order for them to to, uh, to create the, the, the level of, of imagery that we're creating. The production value, uh, as you'll see, I think is very, very high. The, 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 the goal of uh, Project X was to have a production value that's the equivalent of any, any studio and the equivalent of Pixar or PDI or DreamWorks. Matter of fact, uh, we had a, uh, the founder of one of those studios say to us that you put in detail in your film that, that we couldn't even do. So we, we're actually creating things at, at a student level that, that even the professional world is, is going, wow, that's, that's pretty impressive. So pat on Rob's back, not on mine. So. <laughs> but anyways, um, thank, you for, uh, thank you for listening to the presentation. One last thing. Um, can you raise your hand?